This video is going to be on how to figure out the vertical rise from one section to another section on a sloping hill. This is a video that I made in the past and uh, had a few problems with it, so I thought I would remake it. So a concrete stairway, wood stairway, whatever it's going to be, you are going to need to know what the horizontal and the vertical, um, the height and the length to make a stairway and uh, you might not need the length all the time but you're definitely going to need the rise to get something uh, started so let's go ahead and remove the stairway this would be something like this you're trying to get from one point to another point on a sloping hill a few items you might need will be a few two by fours a couple of two by fours might need to be cut so that you can drive them into the ground a few stakes will be helpful and you're going to simply drive one of the two by fours with a point on the end into the ground and try to brace it up the best you can with a few stakes uh, something like this it's okay if it moves a little bit and uh, the height of the two by four you know could be about eight foot it's going to have to be less or the height of the 2x4 can't, is, isn't going to do you much good if you can't reach it. So, you know, if you're six foot tall, um, yeah, you can probably put a seven footer in there. If you're five foot tall, a seven footer is going to be difficult to reach while standing on a sloping hill. So keep that in mind. Um, use some screws. I like using screws because I can pull everything apart. You're probably going to need one in the middle for this one, this example here. You might need more depending upon the length of the hill and the height of the hill also. So something like this for this particular slope looks like it'll work fine. How do I know? Because I already figured everything out. Try to keep them in line. Try to keep it in a straight line. You can do this with a string and um, it uh, doesn't have to be perfect this can be off to one side i think you're still going to be able to get your measurements and then of course you're going to need to use a straight edge with a level set the straight edge on top of the area or the walkway patio whatever you're trying to get to and then run it across make sure it's level and you're going to need to mark the vertical two by four mark it somewhere where you'll be able to measure from measure from because you're going to basically be measuring the distance in between here after you mark everything then place um, the same thing do do the same thing place it on the hill next to the two by four and uh, level it mark it put two more marks on it and you can see here where the there's a mark here and this one here is going to have one at the end let's go ahead and remove it give you a better look here a mark on the two by four mark on this two by four and of course we will use these measure from the this mark here down to the top and then measure this right here add the two numbers together this might provide you with a better idea of what we're doing. We have a line here. This represents a level line from the top of the landing up here to the two by four. We measure the distance here. Give you a better idea, close up of it there. Another level line across here with our mark down to the top of the platform or landing here and I guess I could have turned this done this a little better but four foot ten and three quarters plus three foot ten and a quarter I already did the math it's 105 inches that would be the total rise for something like this for this situation then we can use 105 inches to figure out the riser height and I will put a link at the back of the video um, check it out it'll be it'll be a playlist link for figuring out helping you figure out the riser height and maybe the tread run also now I just wanted to provide you with another situation I kind of drew a straight line here but what if you had something that was more like a hill something that uh, maybe even a little longer well if this is the case you might need to use more of the two by fours and the stakes this one one we had before had two this one here has three because it's a little longer 
And again, you might need to put four in a situation like this and have these poles a little bit shorter so you can work with them a little easier. But even if the poles, the two by fours are a little higher, um, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But if you cut them a little shorter, you can always add to them by uh, you know screwing something on the side of the board to connect another board to it and extend it up a little higher. Hope that makes sense. If not, feel free to leave a comment in the comment area. So again, instead of two, we are going to have three here. And you would follow the same steps. Of course, this is straight. It's nice, like I said, get it as straight as you possibly can. But you're going to follow the same steps as you did before by uh, leveling across leveling across and then this instead of just adding two numbers together in this case you'd be adding three numbers together to get your total rise now what happened the stairway is stuck in the hillside here and in order to keep the stairway straight you're going to need to remove some of the dirt here eventually or do some uh, landscaping to shave some of the dirt away but the stairway is probably going to have to be straight they usually are and the steps are going to need to be a little longer remember we've got a distance where we've came back a little further we were over here let's say and now we're a little longer and i believe the other steps uh, on the previous plan were 11 inches long these are about 17 inches long so that's a big difference there with the same rise you could always add steps to this and make the riser smaller if you need to also straight stairway without the without the hill there and anyway i hope that helps uh, threw in a couple different ideas there to see if it would uh, make a little more sense and if it doesn't feel free to leave a comment in the comment area and you know you can help me out. You can help me make better videos by instead of just hitting the thumbs down button, actually telling me what's wrong with the video. I mean, this other video that I made before ran for quite some time until someone actually told me that there was a problem. And I'm not saying it was the first time someone told me the problem just recently, but uh, I'm going to say it ran for quite some time before someone even let me know. So if you got a problem with one of my videos, Leave a comment in the comment area. Let me know what it what the problem is instead of just uh, saying, ah, you suck. It just doesn't do me any good. And, and of course, it's uh, really not going to do you any good if you're looking for something that you cannot find on the Internet.